All right, guys, it's Phil. Got a little video for you today. Uh, it's uh, something a bit different. It's Lords of War. This is a kind of collectible gaming card game, war game, um, entirely using cards. Um, I actually got hold of this uh, thanks to a competition from the new tabletop gaming uh, magazine. Um, I'll put links in the description for something to do with that, probably the Facebook page for you there. It goes on sale, issue 1, on June the 19th. And they kindly, thanks to a little giveaway on their Facebook page, sent me these. The uh, currently available four sets of Lords of War. And there was also a playmat, a two-player sized playmat for this game. So I thought what I'll do is I'll show you guys what you get in the box and see if we can investigate this a little bit. So I'll start with this one. This is the Orcs vs Dwarfs. I believe this was the first one they made as far as I'm aware. Um, so we'll have a quick pop into here and have a look, see what we get. Okay, so that'll be probably the Dwarf deck and that'll be the Orc deck. You got a little bit of a rules sheet there and a paper play mat. So it looks like you get everything you need inside the box to play the game. Um, but obviously these are available if you want to go that way. Um, okay, so the game itself, as far as I can tell from looking over the rules online, it's actually a little bit like if you ever played Final Fantasy VIII, the triple triad. Uh, mini game on that, and also I think Final Fantasy Nine. Um, let's see if we can get into this with my lack of nails. There we go, get in there. Yeah, so in Final Fantasy Nine and Eight, there was this little mini game called Triple Triad. Well, it was called Triple Triad in Final Fantasy Eight. Anyway, the point is, you had a little kind of a grid-based. Um, play field and you could build your deck and it was about positioning your cards and making the most of the numbers printed on the cards and the, they had directions. This seems to be largely the same so from what I gathered on the actual rules you've got a defence thing, this is the kind of a number that your opponents have to beat and you've got attacking and each card has a certain number of attacks in certain directions. So, for example, this one here, he can attack to the left, he can attack in front, and he can attack that way. Cards are always played up the same way for your army, and then his army, your opponent's army, will be played that way around. Um, so what it is, I think you play one card each turn, and it's about beating your opponent down. Um, now you have to actually exceed their shield value. So you notice a lot of these numbers aren't that high. What you'll actually need to do is a lot of the times combine attacks, have two units attacking together in order to beat the defense. Um, but I'm sure I'll go over the rules maybe in a future video. Anyway, let's have a look at this dwarf deck, shall we? So you've got Crod, Clout Hammer, a Dwarf Axe Thrower, probably a few of those. Yep. Dwarf Ballista, so this is a uh, ranged weapon, so this can fire um, further than cards which are directly touching it where it has an arrow. So you can attack directly or you can follow the little kind of grid there which is how many squares it can attack into. Um, so you've got Dwarf Beast Slayer, Dwarf Berserker, Dwarf Dowager, Dwarf Impaler. Dwarf Marauder, Dwarf Rockhound, Dwarf Sharpshooter, some really nice artwork on these cards, Dwarf Slugger, Dwarf Sluggers again, Gordona Ironhelm, she's a character there, Ivor the Mad, Jaeger Drakesbane, Dead Eye Jones, and Mungo Lance Rammer. So there you go. You see, the cards themselves don't have any particular rules on them. They are basically fairly plain, but they have got, obviously, what they can do, what, where they can attack. And it's a strategy war game about where you place your units down, how you support your other units, 
and that sort of thing. So they're the dwarfs. Let's have a little look at this one, which is the orcs. If we can get into here. And now it's gone quiet. So let's tr talk about it. So there's basically, I think there's the, t yeah, there's two boxes which have got orcs versus dwarfs. This is obviously the, the first one. And the second one is an expansion that introduces magic and monsters into the mix. And I'm going to need my trusty blaster blade on this, I think. Um, so it's, yeah, it looks really fun. Um, from what I've, uh, blimey. Doesn't want me getting in this one, does it? So, yeah, anyway, what was I saying? I've already forgotten because I'm that distracted by trying to get in to this thing. There we go. Easy. Any old Muppet could get into this. Right. Let's have a little goosey at what we get for the Orcs. You've got Gonk Longtooth, uh, Goblin Bow Pest. There's a few of those. Goblin Shanker. Goblin Spider Rider. So a lot of these are kind of warhammer -y. Uh You got Goblin Spikeman. Uh, Erugor Bloodfist. Something like that. Cragdish Blackmore. Orc Butcher. Orc Catapult. Orc Deathbringers. Orc Ravagers. Orc Warhog, Snafu Bighorn, Ugluk Horse Killer, and Vanar Flesh Ripper. So that yeah, that's the uh, the Orc deck there. So they're pretty cool. Um, they appear to be like the standardish kind of card game size. I think maybe slightly taller. Hard to say. I don't have a Magic the Gathering card to hand or anything like that. Uh, I've got a Vanguard one. How big are they compared to Vanguard? Let's have a look. A little bit thinner than Vanguard. Mm, about the same height. So, yeah. They're pretty cool. So, that's that. And, obviously, you, like, you play your game on the board. Two players, each in command of an army. There is flexibility to how you build your deck. So, it'll be interesting to see how that game plays out. Um... I'll leave it there for this video because it's starting to get a bit long. The next video I'll do the Magic and Monsters expansion for the Orcs and Dwarves and then I'll open the other two, probably a video each again there. So thanks for watching this first video. Check out the second one in a couple of days or a couple of minutes or whatever, whenever I decide to put it up and I'll see you soon.